name Oriel actually mean? Oriel refers to the golden glow of sunlight that surrounds the earth. The designer of the restaurant wanted to make sure he incorporated light into the environment, whether it be day or night. And these windows are just so spectacular and so unique in Las Vegas for any of the restaurants. So what is Charlie Palmer's philosophy for the restaurant? Well, Charlie Palmer is a pioneer in progressive American cuisine, which is an evolving style that uses classical French cooking and incorporates it using fresh American ingredients. And what that allows us to do is make sure that we're changing the menu on a seasonal basis. Vincent, this is the best kitchen ever because we get to drink wine while we cook, so I shall toast the chef. What are you preparing today? Yes, we're going we're gonna to make a uh, tuna tartare. We're going to make it spicy, we're going to make it crispy, and we're going to try to squeeze the whole thing in a uh, cannelloni. But these are the strangest ingredients I've ever seen. We've got flowers and tuna. Well, definitely ingredients. It's something that keeps the uh, interest alive and, uh, you know, take the same ingredient and twist it around and come up with different, you know, recipes and different way to uh, shape and work it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to slice it up, slice it into thin slices like this. Sharp knife helps a lot. It makes things smooth and easy. And we're going to season and dress up the, the meat of the tuna itself. We're going to start by a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, separate all the little dices of tuna. And that's going to help the process to get all the spices and all the aroma all around each and every slice of tuna. We're going to add a little bit of a sriracha, and that's basically where we're going to get all the spice and the heat from. Toasted sesame seed, adding a little bit of a texture into the tuna itself, add a little bit of a chives, drizzle of sesame oil, and then we're going to finish with a little bit of a poison. A little bit of a roasted bell pepper coulis, a little bit of guacamole, avocado puree. It's going to tune down a little bit the spice. So we're going to display our tuna tartare right into the sauce like this. There we go. We're going to use our flowers to garnish a little bit to uh, you know, dress up the dish. And you can eat these flowers? Of course, all edible flowers. And uh, here we go. But as yummy as that looks, I do know that you have a signature dish. Yes. What's that? So it's a crusted French onion soup, and that's something that Charlie and I worked on years ago. It became one of the best items here on the menu. That's a pretty impressive wine rack you have there. Yes, it's uh, 42 feet. It holds 10,000 bottles of wine. Adam, I'm wondering how in the world you get them down? Let me show you. So this is four stories high and looks like a glass skyscraper. Essentially, it's one giant climate-controlled humidifier. I hear it was inspired by the Mission Impossible movie. I see a hoist lifts the wine stewards, or as they're affectionately known here, the wine angels. So they fly through the tower to pick out a selected bottle of wine. Now that really is truly unique and something you definitely should see when you're in Vegas.